Good morning internet. I never know how to start these videos. I never really know what to say. But that sounded like a complete tosser. So do I say good morning internet? Or do I say hello YouTube? We'll go with hello YouTube. Welcome to another vlog. Beautiful morning for a ride today. Always a good day for a ride. Got a couple of things happening today. First of all, I don't know how the audio sounds because I haven't actually got to test it. Um, I tried to fix up my helmet audio yesterday and then um, it was raining quite heavily all day and had a few things on so I didn't get to actually go for a ride and test the audio but um, get in the right gear Roddy but um, I'm trying to sort of minimise wind noise as much as possible so I've uh, really buried the mic in the helmet and I don't know whether that's going to be a uh, a bad thing but anyway I'll find out this afternoon I'll either be happy or I'll have the shits so the second thing that's happening today is we're on our way to Port Macquarie Harley Davidson and I am getting a set of six inch I'll go this way actually I think I'm getting a set of six inch risers installed on the bike So I'm currently going with the uh, standard setup and I just find while it's not bad I've been getting pains in the back of my neck after sort of a couple of hours of being on the bike and um, from the research that I've done the 6 inch risers seem to uh, aid comfort especially on the long haul rides so let's see how that goes I've gone with the 6 inch pullback risers over the uh, just the 6 inch risers in general which sort of goes straighter up um, and they take the handlebar up 6 inches and then in apparently roughly, roughly an inch and a half I'll also get the bike serviced while I'm there got a couple of issues with the Harley that I want to get looked at well, the biggest issue for me has been um, the clutch the clutch uh, lever seems to have too much play in it and it doesn't seem to want to can you see that? it doesn't seem to want to spring back fully after it's disengaged so um, I'll get that looked at and obviously they'll have to look at the clutch anyway when they um, change the handlebars over or the risers at least It is an absolutely beautiful day for a ride this morning. Don't forget guys, I'm on my journey to a thousand subs. So if you haven't subscribed already, and some of the videos that I pump out to help you out in any way, I'd love you to subscribe. Drop a like below. and help me achieve my goal my thousand subscriber goal
Guys, I got these risers sorted out, got the bike serviced, I'll come back to you. Right here guys, so here we are, the handlebars are all done and dusted, 6 inch pullback risers installed. So just a bit of an update, if anyone's watched the uh, 2020 Lowrider S review, um, I'll drop a link here, um, you would have known that, so there's a few things happened and between the jigs and the reels the guys at port city harley had to keep the bike overnight which was perfectly fine no problem at all um and they kindly borrowed me their lowrider s that they had in stock to take home um so i did a quick review on that the other day so the last i saw of the bike was up in the hoist and um then a couple of days later john from port city harley davidson Brought the bike back. All right, let's take him for a ride. The biggest problem I was having with the stock uh, handlebar setup on the stock risers was that I was feeling a little bit stretched in the back of the shoulders, a little bit of sort of um, hunched forward, and only kind of like ever so slightly, but enough to put a bit of a creak in the back of my neck after sort of you know a reasonable amount of time riding in the saddle. And what I've noticed now, which is always going to be an obvious thing with the whole point of me doing it but what I have noticed and it's quite noticeable is that um, I feel a lot more relaxed in the shoulder area so I was a bit worried that the pullback on the handlebars would pull the handlebars back a bit too much and that they'd be a bit too close to me but I'm actually pretty happy with how this feels I have to say I'm definitely in a very relaxed kind of slouch um, I've got a nice little bend in my elbows and I feel very comfortable I actually feel a lot more comfortable than I did I'll tell you this car is turning left and right there I feel a lot more comfortable than I did with the stock riser setup that's for sure so I would deem this to be a success it's taken all that stretch out of the back of my neck all that stretch out of my shoulders it's put me in a really really upright position now so now in this position I could honestly ride this thing now for about 500 k's and I would just be as comfy getting off it as I am getting on I mean I probably have a bit of a sore ass let's face it but everybody gets that after a few hours on a bike but I certainly wouldn't have any shoulder or neck pain I like the curve in the riser too I like the look of it I hemmed in hard with going, once again Roddy, get in the right gear, um, I hemmed in hard with going with a blacked out riser rather than a chrome riser, but I'm glad I went with the chrome riser, it's, it looks a lot better. And another beautiful day for a ride. And with this handlebar set up I could ride for hours and hours, I could ride for days. Alright guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to drop a like on this video if you liked it, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying some of the content that I'm putting out, 
hopefully it's of some use to someone. I'm on my journey to a thousand subs. I'd love you to join me on that journey and get me there. But yeah, definitely loving these uh, pullback risers. They feel really good. I'm glad that they didn't pull back too far. I thought maybe that I should have just gone with six inch risers without the pullback. Um, due to the lean of the fork, I thought that that pullback might come back too much, like I said, but I'm actually glad that I went with the pullbacks now. And uh, that was a good decision. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.